Nick speaking and welcome to this video right here in the learning curve and today we're going to have a look at the ripper swarms. Uh, now first of all I have to say that these were uh, the hardest tyranid models to paint. <laughs> um, even with my simple paint scheme and the reason for that is there's just so many teeth and eyes per base. Um, it, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was hard work painting these guys um, but they're pretty cool looking units uh, once they're all done. Um, okay, so let's have a look at them. Uh, they obviously are troops choice and uh, because of the way 7th edition works that means that they are actually scoring. Now previously, because they've got uh, the swarm special rule, uh, you weren't actually able to capture or hold objectives. So you can do that now, which just made these guys slightly better. And of course because they have the swarms, um, they will ignore difficult terrain. Uh, not on the charge, but when they're moving. Um, sadly, it means they are obviously vulnerable to blast, so they will take two wounds uh, for every every wound on a blast weapon. Um, unless it's instant death, of course, you still use strip all the wounds. Uh, so, slight disadvantage there, but on the whole, uh, having the swarms rule is pretty good for them. Now, they are also fearless, uh, so they will automatically pass morale and pinning checks. Uh, however, um, they're not a synapse creature, so you will have to try and keep them into synapse, otherwise you'll be rolling on that feed table. Uh, in terms of points, they've gone up from the previous codex. They were 10 points, they're now 13, and you can have between 3 and 9 in one brood. Uh, Stat-wise, weapon skill 2, ballistic skill 2, strength 3, toughness 3, 3 wounds, initiative 2, four attacks, uh, leadership five, and a six plus save. So pretty much a sort of a, the stats you would expect from a, a swarm model. Um, you do have a few options. Uh, but first, before I talk about the options, um, I want to talk about uh, these guys, because I feel a little bit sorry for these, these rippers, to be fair. Um, I used to use them a reasonable amount of time, a few codex editions ago. They used to make great little uh, units go up front to give your, the rest of your army a bit of cover save um, and potentially you could even give them adrenal glands and toxin sacs and they actually did quite well as little counter attack units uh, but, but things have changed a bit now and um, when the, the current codex came out and we lost obviously our drop pods from the previous edition uh, the, this, these little guys sort of went up a little bit um, and I was using them a lot more um, because we weren't able to put um, hormigans, uh, sorry, termigans, uh, in a drop pod, you know, with the guns. So there weren't many deep strike options available to us. So I used to upgrade these guys with spine fists. They're four points each, so it made them 17 points of base, which is still quite quite high, really. Um, but the spine fists, 12 inches, strength three, twin link. So although they're the strength three, they are twin link, so you can get a reasonable amount of bullets out with your ballistic skill two. Um, it made quite a nice little distraction unit, um, something to deep strike in, a little bit of null deployment as such, um, and we didn't have many options. Uh, but of course now we have the drop pod, the, the tyrannocyte uh, in the list, and it's almost made these guys redundant um, from from that point of view really, because now we can go back to having uh, you know the, the devil gants um, in the pods. Um, as such a mu you know, much better option, uh, more shots, um, higher strength and uh, overall just, just generally better. Um, now arguably yes, if you didn't want to invest the points in a pod and you just wanted an additional deep striking unit, they're still usable and the fact that they're troops is great, um, but 6 plus save, you know, even with the, the all the wins they've got, they will go down fairly quickly. And I suppose that arguably you still could use them as a, a unit to put in front of your swarm, um, to, you know, to soak up a few more wounds. But the problem you've got now is that they're, you know, they are more expensive. Uh, it's 13 points without the gun, which is quite a reasonable amount of points just to have them to, um, you know, take the bullets. Whereas you could put, just put some gants in the way, you know, four points each. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't tend to get these guys out now, really, to be fair. Uh, they only come out if I'm specifically playing a bit more of a swarmy type list and I need more little bugs on the table. Uh, it's still a fun unit, still playable, um, but not necessarily the best troops choice option. 
um, especially now we've got the the new um, units, whatever it's called, the Muller side. Can't remember what it's called now, uh, but the one we're going to talk about in the next video. Uh, because you can't even use these now just to take, say, three of them as the, the cheap troops choice. Because three of those is, what, 39 points? Well, it's 15 points for the other ones. So, um, yeah, um, not even usable for that. Okay, so um, what else? Yeah, adrenal glands and toxin sacs, you still can give them uh, those. But once again, I, honestly, I, I just don't see the point in, in having those. Um, I think there's just so many other better options um, out there really um, which we've, we've discussed certainly in the troops uh, selection um, and if by the way if you do want to deep strike them it is an extra two points to deep strike them to get the the tunnel swarm special rule so deep striking them in actually is uh, 19 points sorry not 17 points with the gun uh, so even worse <laughs> uh, so sorry rippers like I said I feel sorry for you but um, you know, you're in my collection, you do come out when it's a fun game, and who knows what the future uh, brings for these guys. And uh, I always say that with, with models that aren't necessarily that great now, um, then just, just hold on because it will happen. They will get better at some point. GW will give them some love. Um, let's look at flayed ones, for example, for the Necron Codex. You know, uh, many editions were not being very good, and at long last, they are now good. Okay, so uh, that's it for Rippers. Uh, watch out for the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.